Even when the sky comes falling, even when the sun don't shine, I got faith in you and I. What the hell, Wilson? God, dog it, man. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me, man. <laughs> you can't be rolling up on me like that, bro. I'm sitting here vibing to Miguel, listening to my brand new earbuds, the OnePlus Buds 3, and just chilling. And you even brought people with you, man. God. Look, huge invasion of prophecy. Dude, we need to talk. We've been friends for a long time, man, but apparently you don't know what boundaries are. But we'll talk about that later because we got company now. Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untactical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. What was in my ear holes, Richardson? It was the OnePlus Buds 3, man. Look, this is a spoiler. These are really good, <laughs> okay? As you probably can already tell, I like them. Now, y'all know me, man. I love my music. Okay, I really do. And it's something about music that just moves my soul and then that in turn moves my body. So I pretty much like damn near everything in general, right? But then there's some things that just, they just scream at me, man. They just, they just talk to me and I want to keep it in my ear holes. And these are going to be one of them. And I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why, okay? Now I know these are the threes versus the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. The word pro is not involved in these in these earbuds right here, man. And that's that's kind of crazy because they give you an extra feature when you get these. And that is volume controls. So right here, Wilson, I know you ain't gonna be able to see this, but we got a pad right here, man, on the outside of the earbud. And it's just for like stuff. You do all this, this is how you talk to the earbuds. You stick it in your ear just like this, dog. Stick it in your ear just like that. And then, oh. Even when the sun don't shine, man. I'll tell you what, man. That Miguel, man. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Let me turn this off. Okay. All right, let me get that out so it won't even turn on. Okay, now. All right, what was I at? Oh, yeah, the touch, the touch controls. <laughs> See, I told you the music moves me, dog. All right, so, so one tap is going to give you a, a, a play and a pause, right? And then you got your double tap for your tracks to skip them forward. Then you got triple tap. Triple try. I cannot say triple tip tip. <laughs> triple taps to take the track backwards or go to the previous track. But then they got the swipe up or down for volume controls. And you can configure this on each earbud, man. Independently. They do work independently, and you can actually configure them within the app. Speaking of which, let's just get into that, man. Let me show you how this app works real quick. I ain't gonna go through every feature. I'm just gonna breeze through it real quick because you know, that would take forever, and uh, ain't nobody got time for that, man. Let's go into my, I mean, let me, let me record my screen for you, Wilson. I'm going to show you this, because you don't know nothing about this, man. Let me, let me show you what I got. All right, so it's the Hey Melody app. Make sure you download that when you get the earbuds. You see right here, I got it in transparency mode. I got some data showing you how, how much battery I got left and stuff. But I wanted to show you uh, how you can actually program these to do whatever you want them to do. So you go down here, this bottom tab, it says device and then earbud controls. Boom, hit it right there. See that? You see that right there, Wilson? I got left and right controls, man. This is what's up. Single tap, I can do nothing or I can do something. Play and pause. Then you got your left and your right. Look at all this. Look at all these options, man. Play and pause, previous, next, voice assistant, gaming mode. Yes, they have a low latency gaming mode, so that's clutch. Then you got your sliding. So you got options for sliding. I was actually demonstrating some stuff earlier, but let's put this back on volume control. Okay, so we got none. You can do nothing. Like if you want to swipe and do nothing, you can just do that if you want to, or you can control your volume up or down. So that's nice. And you got touch and hold for noise canceling and transparency modes. So you can have a minimum of two options here. So I've got mine set to noise cancellation and transparency. I don't need off because I'm an all or nothing kind of guy. We'll talk about noise cancellation in a, in a brief moment. But I want to talk about sound quality, man. Look, when it comes to sound quality, <laughs> I told you, the music moves me, man. So, like, here's the thing. These are not the Pro model, so they're not tuned with the Dyne Audio stuff that the Pro 2s have, or the Buds. Is it Buds? One Plus Buds Pro 2 or One Plus Buds 2 Pro? I don't know which one it is. It's the Pro version, though, and it's the 2 and the Pro. These don't have that, that, that pro moniker and the, uh, the Dyne Audio even on here, but they sound just as good. To me, I can't noticeably notice a difference between the two because the bass is on point, treble, mids and highs, it's all where it needs to be. As a matter of fact, oh man, I wish I could have showed you this when I was recording earlier, but they do have this other thing in here that came in real clutch, man. What is this? It is called 
It is called base wave. Oh, dude, you get to toggle this from zero, actually negative five to zero to positive five. I keep mine on two, sometimes one. It adds the extra thump into the music. Uh, you know what? Screw it, man. Let me just record this for you. I got to show you, Wilson. I got to show you, man, because you ain't going to believe me. I'll, I'll talk about this stuff all day long. You won't even believe me. you like, show me, man. Look at this. Bass wave. It's right here. It's sound, master, EQ. Then you go in here. I keep mine at a level two, and that's where I get all the thump I want to have in my music. You know I like that bass. I like it clean. And that's what it does. It, it kind of just levels up the bass in the right places where the bass response is supposed to be stronger. And that's it. It doesn't screw with anything else. And I love that about it. It's just, it's almost like a customizable bass boost. Absolutely love that about these earbuds, man. And that's, bass moves the soul, okay? Anytime you hear a song and you start doing this, boom. It's the bass, right? <laughs> so, so yeah, man, you need to control that bass. But everything is laid down nice and smooth, man. Definitely nice and smooth. But here's something I figured out between the two earbuds. And I'm not really trying to compare the two earbuds, but this is something I actually noticed as an owner of both. With the original, or not original, with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, they fit perfectly. I love the design, love the ergonomics. The only thing I don't like is that they didn't have volume controls. With the Buds 3, I don't get the same type of fit, even though they look exactly the same. It's, I don't know, it's something with them, man. And I've tried the different ear, pit, uh, ear tips, but I can't get the same fit, even though they look to be structurally the same and even physically the same. I don't know, I'll figure it out at some point. But that brings me to active noise cancellation and, and transparency. Transparency is second to none. These are on transparency mode right now, and I do not feel like I'm underwater. I don't feel like things are plugged into my ears to where it annoys me, especially as I'm talking to you right now. Transparency is great. Active noise cancellation, it is not as strong as what you would get in the, um, in the Buds uh, 2 Pro or Pro 2. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. It's not as strong, but it's not far off either. It's not like a night and day difference. I just noticed that I do think I get just a tiny bit more noise cancellation with those, but that could possibly be to the fit that I'm talking about. Like once I figure out this perfect fit, and I can usually figure this out, just not right now. Once I get that perfect fit, it will probably be exactly the same as far as active noise cancellation. But the next thing I want to talk to you about, and we're going to get out of here at this point, Wilson, is the phone calls because Phone calls are important, man. We use our earbuds for pretty much everything, man. People stick them in their ears and just go through the whole day using a set of earbuds for literally everything. Listening to music, watching videos, talking on the phone and stuff. And that's what I do too. A lot of times I just have one stuck in my ear like this. It doesn't matter which one. I'll have the case on standby somewhere. And I'll just have one bud in my ear talking. Sometimes both, it just doesn't matter. But either way, the sound of or the, the call quality is very important. And I'm gonna tell you, just like the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, the call quality is top notch. The way I do the call quality test is typically I'll just go on a walk, right? And I'll talk to somebody and I'll ask them, hey, how do I sound? And they say, hey, you sound good. I thought you were maybe outside or maybe you were in an office somewhere. And I'll tell them I'm outside and they'll be really surprised. These were the ones where somebody thought I was actually indoors, okay? So when you're outside walking at a park or something and somebody thinks that you're indoors, that means they are canceling out a lot of outside noise and bringing in your voice in real time and doing a great job at it. Where they don't excel is wind noise. So if you got a bunch of wind, you're putting them earbuds to the test, man, if you've got a bunch of wind coming. And I can't think of any earbud that tackles wind noise that well either anyways. So look, man, I think these are really good. I wouldn't say these are an upgrade or a downgrade to the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. To be honest with you, I, I don't know, man. I don't know how to call it in that regard, like which one is better. But I do know that these have volume controls, which is what I felt like the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 were missing, and I'm happy it's here, and I'm loving the earbuds. Either way, I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is, I think you should leave, Wilson. I think you should leave. Let's, let's start this over, because I've talked to the people. You go back outside, you knock on the door like a normal civilized human being, and, you, and I'll let you know if you can come in or not. So get the hell out of here, man.